this is one dirty car but guess what we're gonna fix that One of the things about having wheels like these on a car is that you have to be extra, extra careful. So these are 22 inch rims and I went to visit a friend and he has a farm and I drove it on the farm but like some deep rocks, it's like rock climbing pretty much. And of course the tire, the tire walls are so thin, you know, the, it, the, the rim end up chipping on some rocks while, you know, driving over them. So few of them are damaged so we have to get those repainted and yeah it's tough but that's where we need a pickup <laughs> that's where we need a pickup we need some money to go and buy a pickup but yeah let's get these clean up and I'll show you guys the damage so my youngest sits on this side of the car my youngest Right, put on the back of the seat. Yeah, put on the back of the seat. I know I can easily get somebody to come and wash the car or take it to a car wash but I find washing the car very therapeutic and you know kinda take your mind off a lot of things. Man I love the interior of this car, the blue is very unique, one of a kind. I don't think you'll find anyone else in Jamaica with this color interior on an Audi. This is very nice. Very proud of myself for the job I did. So guys, when washing the car, Please make sure don't point the gun at the sensors, at the reverse sensors because this is held in by two side tape. So if whenever you if you spray it too hard, it's gonna blow it out. So a lot of you guys been asking me what's up with the GTR. Um, Ziggy called me the other day, saying that you know to give him a deadline of no, um, for November. So he said that November he will have the car ready or you will have the car ready for the November meet. That's what he said. So we'll see if November the car will be ready. And the NSX, in the same conversation, he said the NSX is easy. Um, just need to get back one piston, a rod, and some bearing. And that car will be up and running. So we don't need a K20 swap, but that's always an option. I would love to put out a lot more content for you guys but I need I think the GTR and the NSX are the cars to really make content on you know and I need those cars to be done so I can show them to you guys and we can take them on drives and enjoy them how can I forget the Chevelle the Chevelle is one to make a lot of content on and even the smart car so yeah guys let's just continue to be patient that took a little time but i got it done um i still need to clean the wheels like dry them pretty much and put some tire shine on them and then i'll be done but what's wrong with them kids there, man azaf pull up your shorts come put, come here man everything was going great until they got here 
Why are your shorts down? Where do you pee? Hmm? Okay, go now. <laughs> so, guys, um, I have something that I wanted to talk about. It has something to do with the 190E Mercedes. And I think I'm leaning towards, you know, um, considering selling it. You know, maybe sell a few of these cars and start from scratch because, like, you know, it's easy to get frustrated because like the waiting to wait on stuff and to order stuff and wait and this and that and all that stuff, it takes a lot. So I'm kind of getting frustrated, you know, with the cars and think I want to sell them because I mean the 190 is fine. That's why I decide, you know, maybe start with that one because it's already up and running. So start with that one and then not selling the NSX though. <laughs> But yeah, you know, we will see where that takes us, you know, but anyone interested in the 190E, I might pull it out and blow off the dust off it and show it to you guys again. But yeah, let's clean up these wheels and get that car out of the garage. Alright guys, so I'm done. But let me show you the wheel. Look at this guys. Look at this OMG and this is not the worst fight. This one is the worst one out of all of them. Man. All the paint chip off. Well it's just right here on this one. So maybe the other one works because it kinda dig. Man, to maintain the image of these cars, it's a lot of work. A lot of money. And I think my head space is just not in it anymore from you guys can see I've made a video yeah, I mean not that long but um, in a while for me in a sense I um, think I'm just I mean the car vibe and all that stuff I don't know I don't even know how to explain it but let's get the 190e down here um, blow off the dust and yeah I'll put the information put a phone number in the description where you guys can call if you're interested in 190e if you're interested in the Volks in the in the Golf R 2015 Golf R in black just reach out to the number it's not my number call it you won't get me what's oh, I look wicked but yeah guys let's get the 190e Hmm? Yeah guys, man I love this car. Love it. Classic. Old school. Old school vibes. Beautiful interior. Red seats. Beautiful interior. I made this door card myself of course. Beautiful interior. Big man door. Of course, have a one Jay-Z. Gotta put down the phone so I can open this. Mm. 
one JZ single turbo upgraded the uh, radiator to a big radiator, aluminum radiator. Thanks for watching. Gonna clean up this car now and uh, put it back in the garage. Probably need to drive this car more. It needs some gas. It seems like you need a little gas, so we're gonna put some gas in it in the tank and cruise it around a little bit. But yeah, thanks for watching. And remember, guys, if you're interested in this car, because I mean, it can be better, but it's fine, fine to me, you know what I mean. And it would take a lot of money to really get this car to where I'm, at, where, where I'm thinking, you know what I mean. So that is it is what it is you know the golf is still for sale it's there if anybody wants it let me know um i mean my mind can change at any time but for the last couple of days that's what i've been thinking that's all i've been thinking i mean so all right remember to like the video subscribe and who knows